get the feeling that Fresno State will try to go down the field with their attack. Tedford will throw from his own 10-yard line. Down the middle he goes for Page, and he'll also be able to get out of bounds. So exactly as Ken Willard calls it, Fresno State executes it, and he's out of bounds as he crosses his own 35. First down for the Bulldogs. That time, I believe it was. Okay, we have third down and 10. Technically, Fresno State can get a first down without getting a touchdown. Now they run out of a tight eye and switch the slip back behind the quarterback, Tedford. Touchdown! He was in! Touchdown, Fresno State! And so they've broken the drought, and a happy Stefan Payne. That's a pretty good career. <laughs> and that is a California Bowl record. Third and eight, big play for Fresno State if they want to maintain possession. The blitz is coming, and he flips it out, and he completes it to O'Brien, and he got the first down, I believe. What a second effort. That is a big play. That could be the biggest play of this ball game. Bayless was hanging on, trying to bring him down, and that's nothing but determined effort by O'Brien. Here's another look. Just a little toss out to Fran O'Brien, the big tight end, on a roll. And watch him pick up that marker. He needs that. Martin Bayless picks him up. Now he needs to stretch, and he gets the ball out. A great effort. With Page and Wesson wide. He pitches it back. The reverse coming this way to Wesson. He gets in trouble. Sidesteps his own quarterback, and he's in for the touchdown. Second is Page for the score, but he had to leap over his own man to get in there. I think he's just happy to get some help. He doesn't mind leaping over him. Devon Page, a great runner. After he catches the football normally, but can be a great runner after the reverse. Here we see the play, the pitch to Carter, the gift to Stephon Page. Now Truckley gets blocked and has to he has to jump over Tedford. And here he comes into the end zone, gets some great blocking downfield. Stephon Page, what a day he's having. With a first down at the Bowling Green 27-yard line. The blitz is coming. He throws quickly for Page, and he's Look in it. for the touchdown. Unbelievable. with his third, third touchdown of the game, but you see him grabbing his right knee. Uh, we'll wait and see if he is severely injured, but he's got three touchdowns, we know that. And with three minutes left, we've got an eight-point difference at the point after to come. It almost looks as if fates are against Fresno State. It looks like it could be a hamstring or a gastric nemus in his calf. There's a throw. It was a post pattern. Look at the catch. Tony Graham takes a shot. Now, that's where he hurt his, hurt his leg, I believe. He doesn't seem to catch up with him until he finishes the play from another angle. You see the play right down the gut. He hits him. What a player. Stephon Page into the end zone. I thought it was 83. It was 93. Tedford will throw. Straight drop back. Touchdown to Wesson. All the people are going crazy. What a comeback. Vince Wesson, the silent gun in the lineup for Fresno State. While Page stole the headlines, Wesson steals the game. Goal line attack. Strong side right. Ball is loose. It's still loose. And a touchback. It'll come out to the 20-yard line. What a wild play. Bernard White fumbled the ball. And Rod Webster finally recovered it just before it went out of the end zone. Well, the big thing here again, Fresno State controlling the line of scrimmage. A good hit. Couldn't see who got his hand on the ball there. Pop rolls three in the end zone. Bowling Green, the offensive player, almost got it there. But now it rolls three. And all of a sudden, here comes the defensive player to make a great recovery. Rod Webster, the man on the ball at the right time. So... Runner Bernard White, who rushed for 949 yards during the season. Now second down and a long eight. McClure under a blitz. Throws complete to the fullback, Smelsley, who fumbles the ball, and Fresno State recovers. It is Mike Stewart, the strong safety. And again, the Bulldogs. Have That's good defensive play here. The defensive. And they throw it to the 20-yard line. Might go all the way. from Oakland, California. And Fresno State, midway through the second quarter, threatens to pull away from Bowling Green. Well, they 
came out on first down. A look at that excitement on that sideline. And Coach Jim Sweeney, of course, is certainly enjoying it. Wants to be wide open, but his defense is setting, this, setting all these scores up with those fumble recoveries. Came out on first down. Bowling Green defense just had to go right back on the field after giving up one play. They're right back out there. Field position. Offenses love that. Well, the kicking game out of punt formation has really been something. And the defense. Greg Wyatt will have a special guest after this play. Brian McClure throws downfield. Intercepted at midfield. Second down and 20 for Bowling Green on their 10. A difficult game for this team in white out of the Mid-American Conference in Ohio so far. Safety. Safety. It was Cliff Hanneman, the rover, who brought down McClure in the end zone. And now Fresno State's lead goes to 23 to nothing. Well, Hanneman is the guy who's been giving them fits. He's their so-called rover. He lines up all over, moves around. I watched him come from the outside on a stunt. He just didn't get across to pick him up. But Kevin's favorite game was the California Bowl. Going into the game, you know, we were built as a team and threw the ball deep, and, and we didn't have an opportunity early in the game. They were really... A, Back, playing back, not going to let us give the deep ball, and uh, thus we had our running game going, and we, and we were able to move the ball on the ground. And then the, I think it was our last play together in the California Bowl last year. We threw a long ball, and Stephen caught it, made a great catch for a touchdown, and that was important to me. I think that we showed people that we can play football at that. Fresno State obliterated Bowling Green 51-7 to and claimed the nation's undefeated title by going 11-0-1. Kimbrough, as good a QB as he is, does not have eyes in the back of his head. He can't see Craig Bowens coming. Great call by... Higgins gets 12 on the reception, 15 more on the personal foul, and Fresno State with a first down at their own 45. They pick up the blitz. Barstody wants to go deep. Alexander is there. Makes the catch. Touchdown! Sodi finally finding the range. Number one, Andre Alexander. Now watch, Barsotti sets himself and lets her rip. And Alexander just runs past the cornerback, Paul Davis, falling down, trying to make the play. Well, he is the fullback, and now he will break from that fullback position and operate as an offback to the right side. Stephen Shelley goes in motion. Barsotti to throw. Downfield, man open, caught by Stephen Shelley. Barsotti starting to find that range a little bit. After the 50-yard, 50 55-yard touchdown pass earlier, he hadn't done too much. Here, the 25-yard completion to Shelley. Lots of time. Isn't it amazing how well a quarterback throws when he gets a little bit of time to throw? And there's a great catch. Probably called by Jim Sweeney. <laughs> <laughs> he won't admit to it, but it probably was. Well, he told us yesterday that he likes the bootleg in certain situations. That may have been one of them. This time, Craig Jones goes from the left side to the right side, tight end. Western Michigan showing the blitz. Barsotti checking off. Here comes the blitz, and here comes the deep pass. Alexander out there. Touchdown! His second of the game! <laughs> 38 yards. He caught one touchdown throughout the regular season, and he has two already in this game. Try to confuse the young quarterback, and sometimes you confuse yourself. Great play. Alexander just runs away from the coverage. That time, Scott Bell, he was beaten by three steps down. Dave Telford is on the sideline, and he is an experienced senior quarterback who threw for over 2,000 yards last year. They have gone to him in the past, but they will stick with Barsotti here. 
Rosette. 50 yard line. He has great speed. Darrell Rosette for the touchdown. 65 yards. And what a way to break open offensively for Fresno State. This, they've done it all year long. Run the ball. And Darrell Rosette who is taking over here for a banged up Clyde Skipper in the second half. One move, two moves, breaks through the line, a good block downfield by his wide receiver, Andre Alexander, and Rosette with his 4-4 speed is off to the races. Boy, have we starting to wave those towels, trying to get their hometown fans into this football game. Ajima, the lone setback, and he gets it. Forget it. Ron Cox. Sporting News said he was the best rich away. Well, you look around Bulldog Stadium here, and you don't have any trouble seeing lots and lots of red for the Fresno State Bulldogs, including the head coach dressed in it. Al Moldy's trying to deal with it, and he told his quarterback, if you can't hear, you step away. Well, Jack Baker, the referee, just said, I'm not buying that coach, and Tony Kimbo, you guys find a way to make your signals heard or use silent signals because we're going to get this game played. Well, this will really get the crowd involved. And they will warn them soon and then start to take timeouts away and then penalize them. Now, quite frankly, I think the way you do this is as the quarterback of the team in a hostile setting, you got to come up and use hand signals to your offense, use silent signals to get the playoff. That's what quiets the crowd. And the crowd doing their job, and Fresno State recovers the fumble. Well, that's the 12th man doing the job there. Kimbrough could not hear, and the offensive center, Doug Miller, couldn't hear, and he snapped the football too soon. Tony, you got to tell the rest of your team what you're going to do, though, when you get up there. If you're going to go on that quick count, Kimbrough was not alert, not ready for the snap of the ball. Everybody else is moving. For 89 in the dark jerseys. Pressure there. Barsotti, great catch by Myron Jones, 20-yard line, Jones to the five, and down he goes. What a pass by Barsotti, falling down. 30 yards. You are so right. This is just a great athletic play by Barsotti to get rid of this pass. He's chased out of the pocket. The blitz by the inside backers. He sees it coming. He flips the ball away, takes a shot as he passes it, and Myron Jones does the rest using that speed. Look at Andre Alexander downfield blocking. You don't see many wide receivers. Rosette. Touchdown! Bronco. And he has put on a splendid display. Rodgers almost got him. Kimber will run for the first down. Or very close. He fumbles. And it's the Bulldogs football. His third fumble of the game. Western Michigan keeps control. The officials are talking about it right now. But Kimbrough, wanting to get that first down, doesn't slide. Look at him. Stay up. That's where the ball came out. He was hit right square in a breath basket. And the ball, as you can see, stays inbounds. Brian Greer is the one that falls on it for Fresno State. But Steve, it was the guy who was penalized earlier. Mark has pulled, look at him, stick his helmet right in Kimbrough's stomach where the football is. In fact, the ball started to slide out even before Hope put his hat on it. Kimbrough not tucking that ball away as he should have. Now the officials are talking third down and one. Myron Jones breaks into the backfield. He could go. Touchdown, Fresno State. Six yards and the touchdown on a third and one. Get in that wishbone. Just looking for some power offense, and Jones makes this play. Passes this year. 
He needs 13 on second down. Here's the rush. There's Ron Cox, and down goes Riley. 27 and a half sacks this year, 49 and a half in his career. Well, and this is Ron Cox's chance to be seen on national TV, and I'm, I think you've got to figure a player of his caliber really wants to go and have a big game, and this is a great start for him. Here in the NFL next year, Riley backing up this time with time, going deep, has a man out there, almost intercepted by Marquez Pope. Pope may have really come on in the San Jose State game when he gained a great deal of confidence, breaking up the game-winning throw by San Jose State. Fresno State won it 31-30, and that's why they're in the California Bowl. Three. Oh, good play by the interior, and led by Nick Ruggiroli. Number 77, he's out of Las Vegas. Not recruited by Fresno State or UNLV. He walked on here. And he's played real well for him. And, and he's basically fit the scheme of the Bulldogs to have those defensive linemen make their play against their guy and let Ron Cox, that linebacker unit, run around and make the tackle. Well, from the shotgun, Craver inside reverse. Craver, 45, 40-yard line. First down, Fresno State. Boy, he finds the hole so quickly. Third and seven, and Riley comes through. And here comes James Williams throwing him into the end zone, but they'll mark him down at the two-yard line. Williams with his third sack this year. Watch out, nonchalant Riley just to play fake, but James Williams right there when he turns around. Oh. Big part of their game would be just ball control. Keep it away from Fresno State. Here comes Williams again, his second sack. Barsotti, plenty of time, looking deep. He wants to go deep for the home run. Has a man out there. It is caught by Pickens, out of bounds. <laughs> 52 yards in pregame. We talked big plays in the game breaker, and that's the guy we highlighted. Watch 27, Leo Porter, not aware of where Dwight Pickens is. He thinks he's got an easy pick, just like a punt. But Dwight Pickens does a great job of going up and getting the ball. Leo Porter, that would have, that's one that he should have been, been able to defend, but a great athletic play by Dwight Pickens. And that has to be a huge... Bad angels saying, no, throw everything at him. Let's go have some fun. <laughs> There's Craver. Craver, first down. Inside the 30-yard line near the 28. David Howe. Now you can see Mark Barsotti. Watch the execution here. Just the, the, the play fake, the quick pass, just to get it out to Aaron Craver and get him out in the open field behind some good blocking. Good block there by number seven, Jesse, Jesse Hardwick. Bulldogs need 17. Mark wants to go deep again, and the pass is caught by Shelley. He could go all the way. Stephen Shelley's to the 20. He is gone. Touchdown, Fresno State. Statistician Mike Sweeney, 90 yard touchdown pass from Mark Barsotti to Stephen Shelley. And Jim Sweeney had been telling us at the beginning of the year that that guy can be one of the great receivers in the Big West. The only problem, he has Dwight Pickens on the other side. Well, Ewing, Vioff, Johnson, Lujan, Faust, the offensive line. Again, they try the middle. This time it's Jones. Jones cutting to the outside. Myron to the 50-yard line. He's to the 40. Myron Jones to the 30. He's to the 20, and he's out of bounds. And the first half ends on a splendid run by Myron Jones. Now he can air it out. And he hits it into the teeth of a strong win and bolts it to the 22-yard line. And right there is Fresno State's James Williams. He does everything. He blocks punts. He's on special teams. He's the top cornerback. And I'll tell you what, I'm sure there are a lot of scouts here today that will say he will be a number one draft choice this year. Strong ground game, but Barsotti opened it up, tossed a couple of touchdowns to Andre Alexander. Here's a little shovel pass. Andre Cooks has the first down across the 45-yard line inside the 43. Why not? 14 TDs in the ground this year, one through the air. Craver sweeps, 
short side of the field. First down, Fresno State. And right now, they're just slamming it at Ball State. Build his philosophy into this program. Barsotti, plenty of time downfield. It's caught at the 19-yard line. Splendid catch by Brian Burnett. Parmalee are the runbacks. Oh, this is Parmalee, and man, was he hit. J.D. Williams. Right now, he is our player of the game. Watch Two how, sacks, and look at this one. Watch how quick he gets in behind Barbie right there. Boom, again, the corner <laughs> blitz. Parmalee didn't even see him. Not much time left on the clock, just six seconds. Riley gets it off, rolls left, in trouble. He will be almost, he escapes one man. Edwards tries to throw him down. Cox with the interception! And Ron Cox will go all the way! With the kickoff in Fresno State's defense dominating this game. Here comes Ball State. Two interceptions. Oh, ho, ho! Well, it's time to get fancy. Valdepeña. Play action. Dilbert looking for his tight end. Sends it out to the right side. It is caught. Lorenzo Neal carries it to the 24-yard line. Boy, credit Neal on a great move once he catches the football. He's the safety valve out in the flat. Dilfer looks downfield. There's nothing there. Now just dump it out in the flat and watch the move that Neal puts on. Plant, get back to the inside, then pick up that positive yardage. It is Creighton again, and he is grabbed at the line by Zach Ricks. The senior from Buckaville, California, grabbed him, and they're duking it out down there. This is the way you play. Control the double team. Split it. Get right back up on your feet. Come down and yank them back. Look at Lorenzo Neal. Oh, look at him go. Phil, they call this yards after contact. It's how many yards do you get once you're hit. Now, right there he's hit now watch that leg drive just keep those legs churning and he picks up another three almost four yards in the mud. third down draw lorenzo neal has got a first down and a whole bunch more whoa did he run right through a tackle hollandquist finally got a good lead block by ron rivers and rivers only goes 5'9, 190. Well, this is a 12-yard run, but you're right. Right there, he breaks the tackle. Now, pick up that blocker, get that head down, pick up that extra yardage. That turned a negative play into a positive play. Oh. This center of gravity must be about 18 inches off the turf. Dilbert, look at that time. He can run it. And he's going to do it. Got a good block. He's at the 40, the SC 35, and down there. State's going to go. And look at those fourth down numbers this year. Dilford. It is cut. It's a first down at the 23 yard line. Titus Winans, his 34th reception this year. In the slot, Malcolm Seabron. Play action. Dilford putting it up. It is caught and out of bounds. Goes Malcolm Seabron at the SC3. There's the T-heavy formation. The give again, straight ahead. Touchdown, Fresno State, Lorenzo Neal. To the right, Morton and Hannah. Creighton, whoa, is he nailed? And it's James Burton again. Well, what FC was going to do is they were going to try to run Burton deep. And he didn't go with the receiver. He came up on the run support. And there was no one out there to block Burton when he comes up. Bam! Counter. Lorenzo Neal. Hit by Hollenquist at the 35. It's a first down for the Bulldogs. Untouched. There's the draw. Lorenzo Neal. And look at him turn to the 32. Josh Cold Iron 
James, Jason James and Russ Hartman, great up front blocking, just pushing the line. To set to kick it away, it is Estrus Creighton and Travis Hanna deep. It'll be Hanna again. A moment ago, he returned 150 yards. Not this time as he has grabbed around the ankles and spun down. spun Hannah to the ground. And watch Romero just break through the slice. Just comes right through clean. Nobody touches him. There he is. He's from the shotgun. Johnson flags her down. Johnson. Pocket collapses and Johnson collapses. Surface and Brad Bell finally got to him. Creighton backs up, pulls it in at the 27. Crosses the 30. At the 37, loses the football. Fresno State's got it. At the 38-yard line, the Bulldogs have recovered. How much does Curtis Conway mean to your special team? There's just an example how much. It surely is. SC had decided that they were going to go with a 10-man up block. They had nobody back there to block for him, and there the ball is just knocked out, and Fresno State recovers. They've got great field position, about the 38-yard line. You've been high-powered defenses tonight. This is amazing. Rob Johnson, he's going for it all, looking for Hannah, and it was intercepted by Fresno State. Sam Watson. safety on that play in Phil, and what he's doing is he's just playing center field. Just reading that quarterback's eyes, looking downfield, playing the quarterback. Look how quickly he reacted over there. Great playing the football. Looks it all the way in now. Get upfield. Don't fumble it. Get behind some blockers. Get positive yardage. That's a nice job running with the football once he gets it. Going on. Right tackle, and look at that effort. Lorenzo Neal. He reminds me so much, Dave, of that prototypical, that throwback to those Big Ten driving fullbacks. Side. Dilford looking for it. It is caught at the two-yard line. Titus Wyman. concentrates on this football because it's not a well-thrown ball. You can see that Dilfer didn't step forward. But look at Wynich just concentrate on that football. Look it in. And watch Dilfer. This may be his best pass of the day. Falling backwards, he throws that football with delivery. The signals. First and goal, goal on the the three. Steps up all the time in the world, throws once Anna. It's intercepted. Intercepted at the 44 by Fresno State's James Burton. Bulletin board. Ooh. something good tonight, so you be sure to mention it. Straight ahead it goes. Touchdown, Fresno State. Johnson looking downfield, and it is intercepted again. A flag is down. Hold everything. He'll be awfully cold by the time he gets to the locker room. Dilfer again down on a knee. That'll do it. Fresno State, they're going to go wild. The red wave is 
beside itself. Look at all the players run into the end zone. Jim Sweeney. He and Larry Smith, great friends. They meet in the center of the field. An emotional win for Jim Sweeney. A huge step for Fresno State. Right here this afternoon, it's Trent Dilfer. They trail, though, 10-0. He completes the pass again. Who else? David Dunn with a first down out to the 36-yard line. A pickup of 16. He's tackled by Enriquez. Dilfer down to that low play clock. Rivers to single back. Three wide receivers, and he hits Charlie Jones, the sophomore. Jones out to the 47-yard line, and he's near a first down, and yes, he has it. A pickup of 15 yards. Here in this three games with a bad ankle, but now one of the more experienced players today in the second game. They blitz again, but this time, Dilfer finds David Dunn up the middle, complete to the 43-yard line, and a pickup of 23 yards. Somehow these guys have to break the ice. I mean, they're moving up and down the field, but don't have any points. Very much team players as well. Three wideouts for the Bulldogs. The blitz. Dilfer gets rid of it. What a heads-up play by Trent Dilfer. And Rivers makes it down to the 12. He's tackled by Ted Johnson. Four clock manager. Backside pressure, and Stewart is down at the 34. A blitz by Stoutmeyer, and Stewart is sacked. And that may, may have taken him out of field goal range. be the last play of the first half. Jamie Christian for Fresno State tries to lateral it, and he does. Sebron, Malcolm Sebron, no flags. Merry Christmas, Bulldogs. Do you believe it? The blitz coming, Dilker gets rid of it. And what a grab by Daigle. Oh, he showed the heart of a lion into the teeth of the zone to hang on. Gain of 27. Play was set up by Dilfer. <laughs> Ron Rivers. Lots of room. Rivers out of bounds at the 13-yard line and a first down for the Bulldogs. Still plenty of time left for this offense. They're explosive. <laughs> Looks like one of those guys in those old digit movies. Here's a pass complete to Anthony Tangle down to the 16. And another first down for Fresno State. They've enjoyed themselves this week. 2.15 to play now. Dilfer complete to Jones. He laid that right in there, too. That ball was perfectly thrown. Bill McCartney in line to notch his second bowl victory of his career. Bingo. A quick slant and a touchdown for Fresno State. That ball was perfectly thrown to Titus Winans. Some think Fresno State should have perhaps more momentum and more motivation because of that. The opening kick returned by Paris Gaines for big yardage. To the 47-yard line, he brought it back 31 yards. Season best effort of 46. Locked, middle of the line. And a big return. The Bulldogs take it all the way up the side. Peyton Williams. Untouched, 87 yards. Number 13, Terrence Brown got up in the air and got that football. That's a habit that the Fresno State special teams have cultivated this year. They've done a marvelous job. That's his third block of the season, and this time it bounds right into the hands of Peyton Williams, who takes it the distance. First huge play of this football game. Volek going to work. And nice open field movement by Rodney Wright. They did basketball full swing. Now Derek Ward. Ward finds the cutback angle. To the six-yard line, first and goal, Derek Ward, 22 yards. Bullock, looking to go deep, 
And up the side, it is caught, and it is inbounds for Charles Smith. That was the only question. It was the best thrown pass of the night. Hit him in stride, and he is in bounds, and it's 40 yards. Right. Double in the backfield for Arsenault. Dropped for a loss inside the 25 by Allen Harper, first team all whack. Second and 10. He is now at 197 consecutive passes without an interception. Marcellus Armstrong to the 41 of Utah picks up 19. Smith went in motion, took it on the reverse. Inside the 10, inside the 5 goes Charles Smith. And another late hit flag, maybe on face masking against Jay Hill. It's a 17-yard reverse for Charles Smith. Tied for the Bulldogs, first and goal from the 2, trailing 14 to 10. The give to a leaping Derek Ward touchdown. Oh, good of the night. Good heavens, administered by Justin Johnson. All Mike Anderson could do to get back up on his feet. Fresno has survived all year by stunting and blitzing up front. They're not as physically dominant. This is the sixth tackle of the night for Johnson. They need four. And they get Armstrong over the middle. With a spin move to the 46 goes the freshman from Fresno for 20 yards, Marcellus Armstrong. Got great fast receivers, send them up the field. They have four wide receivers. They run the screen to Paris Gaines, and Gaines will get the first down and more. Paris inside the 30 yard line. Paris Gaines is gone. Get 73 and 6. 34 against Fresno State. Leotis Palmer back deep standing at the three yard line. And they go with the onside kick. And Fresno State hopping on that football. They yeah, come the up official with a point in the wrong direction. <laughs> it is Bulldog yeah, football. That's the right direction. Well, there's a start for Fresno State. You know, you would think coming out for the second half, Air Force would be ready for just about anything. Well, they weren't thinking they were going to get an onside kick. Executed very well. That's caught right at about 11 yards, right along the boundary. Nice job by Juan Bautista, backup cornerback. Receiver right side. They will run the football to Derek Ward, and he punishes them to the 10. Derek Ward to the 8, first and goal, Fresno State. I remember Fresno State brought about 15,000 people with them, so there's a lot of red shirts in the crowd. They're going with a heavy load look. They bring in the fullback, Tim Osborne. Play action, David Carr, loops end zone. Caught Alec Greco, but there is a flag down. I think you got holding initially, and then you could almost call Alec Greco for pushing off a little bit. He's just trying to get loose from Tony Metters. Metters was holding he had Holding him. on the defense, penalty decline, touchdown. It is blocked. Bishop DeBerry took his hat off and slammed it to the ground. Still, Air Force leads by 17 with just inside 11 to go. Great job by the Fresno State special teams. Watch him go up in the air right here. Gets awfully high up. Terrence Brown, reserve free safety, skying. Watch, he just gets a good leap right there. The ball comes off Adams' foot. And that's a lot of commitment by Terrence Brown. 37-20 Air Force, David Carr.
Boy, you know what started, you know what started all this when Fresno State blocked that kick. That was their seventh block this season. And they had blocked. It's about a motion, doing something that you do really well. And Bernard Barrett got a chance to play more this year when Charles Smith and both Rodney Wright were out with injuries. And win turnovers, win penalties. They have done all but the kicking game in the second half. that offense is working. Beeson pitches Brown. Nothing. And look at the emotion after the tackle. This is great college football. I would love to be able to go on those big old needles that they send in your body and suck some of the adrenaline out of the Fresno State players and then suck a little bit out of the Air Force players. The Fresno adrenaline meter is a little higher than the Air Force meter right now. Brian Fleming right now third and nine for the Falcons. Ryan Fleming right side. Will it go the big guy's way? Stacey is sacked. Time out. Maybe, maybe Time out. field goal range. Timeout is called with 1.47. to Barrian. Bernard to the 41. And the first down clock stops at 53. Carr fires. Rodney Wright at the 20-yard line. Yesterday, Carr said he thinks he's the best slant route runner in college football. Now they're back to work again. Barrian with the catch. Barrian Inside the 30 to the 25. The first time I saw this throw was with Dan Marino, where you're running the up pattern. If, the, if you can't get past the defensive back, you throw it short and you can look at the points that they're scoring. Hawaii, two whack teams in bottom Fresno State, BYU, Mountain West. I guess you got to be on a, a coast during high altitude to <laughs> score a lot of points. Offense right now. I think his, his weakness will be the team that he goes to in the NFL. David going deep. Rodney right open. Touchdown! <laughs> Cover. Is Rodney Wright down. uncovered. Wide open right first down to the 40. Rodney right to the 50. And James, how does a guy who has 91 catches get have no one covering him? I got Baker. McGill over him. Baker's the H-back right side. Downfield. Hey, good. Oh, this is the third drop of the game. You know what? Remember that big shot that he took in the rib? Yeah. Well, you know, the real pain here, you see Hey, good down on the ground, is dropping the ball. If you catch it, it just doesn't hurt as much. But he takes another shot in the rib from his best buddy, Cameron Rowell. They're not getting a lot of hits on David Carr. His offensive line is keeping him off of Another blitz. Carr with plenty of time. And right there. Rodney Wright, great speed, and he will go. Touchdown, Fresno State. 79 yards. You know, that's really borderline taunting. Hold that ball out like that. This looks like Tyree Sam's made. Nope, they're just going to blitz from the inside. Smoker is sacked, and a flag goes flying. Nick Burley with the sack. Two more catches or three more catches, fellas, for 100 this year. David Carr has got him a lot, and he goes to him again for a first down. Will they creep up? Now back. Carr rips it. Rodney Wright inside the 10-yard line. First down, Bulldogs on third and 22. Well, that's where I'd go. I don't blame him. Tight ends, they're unconventional, Fresno Stadium. We'll give it to Paris Gaines, trying to get outside, and he will score.
This time, middle, he's wrapped up by Burley, and I don't think he got it! Nick Burley from the right end, just with a marvelous defensive play. Uh, they're going to be. You're going to hear more and more of all these guys coming through. Second down, quick toss in it. Again, that's made Rodney right. He has just broken the all-time Fresno State receiving record in a bowl game. So two scores. One must be a touchdown. They get the puck block. Bulldogs have it. Maurice Rodriguez near the 15-yard line. McGill with the block. Rodriguez with the recovery. It's 10 yards to go. Rodney Wright on the right side in the slot. Carr dumping it off. Paris Gaines to the 10, to the 5. I like it. I like it. Well, that was a statement. Backfield for Georgia Tech. Suggs looking to set up the screen, and it's intercepted. It's picked off by Jason Stewart. And Fresno State has the turnover. Fred so third and three for Fresno State. Davis running right. He's got the first down. Davis to the 20 and inside the 10 all the way down to the five. Finally brought down by Jeremy Myers. So Rodney Davis running hard. And it's a fake. They hike it to the up back and that should be enough for the first down. So Fresno State, a little razzle-dazzle. Murphy is the running back, and they hand it to Ace. Up the middle he goes. Ace is Zemmerve, running hard, fumbles the football! And Fresno State's got it! Fresno State has it. Fresno State shows blitz for a moment, then backs out. Suggs launches one. Mesa oh, has got the interception. D. Mesa at the 40. He's got a convoy of blockers. D. Mesa! Touchdown, Fresno State! Now against his spread offense, we're seeing. Third and 14. Pinnaker going up top. Looking for DeAndre Gilbert. He's got it! DeAndre Gilbert complete. Gilbert down the sideline! And Gilbert inside the five. What a catch! By the junior from Fresno. Down by one. Right up the middle goes Davis, and he's into the end zone for a touchdown. Davis from three yards out. Fresno State. And they are coming, and down goes Bilbo. Jason Stewart and Claude Sanders, the nose tackle, and left end respectively, not faked out by that play. ACC. A holdover. Now Bilbo being rushed. Throws! Got a man! Demarius Bilbo waited a second too long. Bryce McGill coming up with the interception. With Demarius Bilbo. Ace is Zemmafee and Bilbo going to sprint out. This looks like a great option. He throws a floater and it's intercepted by Cameron Worrell. Cameron Worrell, the senior from Chowchilla, California. All whack. Ohio State uh, left to be played. There you go, Ohio. Of course, uh, going up against USC, Ohio State, Miami. Pinnaker unloads one deep. Jameson caught, caught at the 45-yard line by Jermaine Jameson. And Houston never looked back for the football. Reuben Houston, the, the corner. This is zone coverage. Zone, you always keep your eye on the football and play the ball when it's in the air. You can see he never looks back for the ball. And a good job adjusting to the football by Jameson to make the catch. It's Fresno State. Eight and a half minutes to go, fourth quarter. Pinnaker with time. Steps up. He's got a running lane. Paul Pinnaker. He's got the first down and he slides inside the 30. So Paul Pinnaker. No one open and Pinnaker takes off for 23. For Bill Ball. Let's see. You run the ball. Keep the ball on the ground. Keep the clock going. Rodney Davis. You got to stop Rodney Davis. Right, there he down. goes. Rodney Davis to the house. Touchdown. And he flips the ball into the stands. Georgia Tech with Bilbo out of the shotgun. Got He's him got a man. Again. He got him open. Pass under throw, and it's intercepted by Mesa. So Bilbo under throwing his wide receiver 
on the far side. He had a man, and for a split second, there was some separation there. The sixth Georgia Tech turnover today. Bilbo firing one, and it's intercepted. James Sanders, the Ronnie Lott wannabe, who has played outstanding football this year. The snap from Kyle Young. Penninger looks, got a man, and it's caught. The catch is made by Adam Jennings, a sophomore out of Sacramento. They've got a first down all the way down to the 41 of UCLA. Side for Fresno State on a second down. Here's Davis. Davis breaks one tackle across the 25 to 20. He's to the 15. And I'll tell you, John Cooper, I think he's going to have a huge game. A pickup of 10 on the play. He's going to have a huge game if they keep missing tackles. Uh, the number 77, Rodney Leslie. Had him right in a hole and missed a tackle. That's a good job. That's that's why low center of gravity. You better wrap up. After that early interception, they've recovered. 14th play of the drive. Second to goal at the one. Hand off to Sublin again. Sublin is in for the touchdown. And so the Bulldogs strike first. The nation, he didn't practice Saturday or Sunday, but he's out here today. And here's Drew. He's not going to get the first down. He slammed down for a loss. Back to the 45 on fourth down. They went for it. They weren't even close to getting there. Again, credit Dan Brown, the defensive coordinator. You're not going to run against nine or ten people on the line of scrimmage like that. Garrett back. UCLA, McIntyre, yeah. UCLA's offensive line's got to do a better job. That was Sanders and McIntyre who shut this down. I mean, they just stuffed it. Pass, so he has uh, given them that other dimension. First down now just inside the 44 of UCLA. Penninger's going to temper to the near side to Sumlin. Sumlin to the 40. He's to the 35. He's to the 30. With 15, 10, touchdown. Sumlin goes the distance on a little flare pass. I tell you, it was a play that didn't look like it was going to be that effective, and it went 44 yards. Well, first of all, I like the play selection. I think that Frank Signetti, the offensive coordinator, quarterback coach, nice job of, of, of keeping UCLA off balance, a little screen pass, good blocking, but the credit here goes to Bryson Sumlin, the running back. They're getting now as Penninger will give off to Dwayne Wright. First out, he's to the 40 and drop there. And again, one tackle away from going to the goal line. Something here. Second down, 10. Deep drop, sets up the screen. Complete the throw, and he's annihilated. I mean, he is drilled. Outstanding play that time by D. Mesa. The free safety, the senior out of Santa Ana, lost the five at Mesa is their most inspirational player. He is so popular on this team. He's California junior through that big block. Second down, now they flicks on the second and six. They get around the blitz. Rodney Davis to the 30, 25, and out down of bounds. They blitz, and they ran right by it. Stop of there. On third down, you can see UCLA, one of 10. Olsen's going to be dropped. That's Garrett McIntyre. What a game he has played. He has been all over the place. He has the sack, and that will force UCLA to punt the football. Down now, 12 yards to go. Drew, straight ahead, nothing. And it's fourth down. All of a sudden, Fresno State really has stiffened up defensively. This is a different UCLA defensive football team in the second half. Beautiful punt. He's done a nice job. Bragg goes back, fields it at the 41, and Great coverage that time. As Manuel Sanchez, after a 49-yard punt, dropped him in his tracks. Three timeouts remaining. Norton, the fullback, comes in motion. Olsen back, double pumping, ball deflected and intercepted. Picked up by Sanchez. Sanchez to the 40. Sanchez to the 35. And down he goes. And Sanchez on his fourth interception of the year. Again, what's the pressure? James Sanders, number 23. It's a quarterback just as he threw the football in strong safety. Great pressure up front. I tell you, Sanchez has been an unsung hero in this game. A sophomore out of Lindsay, California. He had three interceptions in the regular season. A sophomore who had forced a couple of fumbles. He's the kind of guy who seems to be in the right place at the right time. 21-yard line. Statement. 
And I think they have. Here is Sutler again. Sutler stays on his feet. Fights his way to the 12-yard line. And body strewn all along the path as he continued up the field. Six. One other assistant coach I want to mention, Dennis Wagner, the assistant head coach and offensive line coach. That offensive line, I thought, did a great job against the UCLA's front seven. And so, Fresno State will finish the year at 9-5, and five, and UCLA will lose their fifth straight game. And uh, they are going to drop for the year to 6-7. and seven. But one of the things you have to give UCLA credit for, they were down in this game big time, 17 to nothing, but they fought back. Well, Terry Donahue mentioned that Carl Durrell's football team, UCLA football team, would not quit. Gary, they did not quit. There's a lot of fight left in that football team. I thought they came out a little bit flat earlier. They, they dug it themselves a, a deep hole early in the first half when they got behind. So this uh, Fresno State team, a very, very tough team to beat because they played so hard. The coaches were telling us this week, the UCLA coaches, that they're kind of a scary team. They're kind of a, a little bit of a sleeping giant. A team that, you know, really, you go up against them, you got everything to lose, nothing to gain, coming from the Pac-10. Let's go to Anne Marie. She's with Pat Hill. I'm here with Coach Pat Hill. Coach, is your first win over UCLA. What does it mean to you have this victory today? Oh, it was great. Play action. Pinner going for the touchdown and he has it. Perfectly thrown to Adam Jennings. And Fresno responds. Four for Fresno. Just seven points so far in this game. Pinner zips it and completes it for the first down into Virginia territory is Joe Fernandez. Had a, a drop earlier today, but that's a good catch and throw for 24 yards. Jordan Christensen with the hold. Vicentainer's kick. Plenty of leg. And he knocks it home. This container, no problem whatsoever. A new career long 49 yard field goal for this container. That is 131 yards from 1,000 yards coming into this game. And he's picking up a chunk of it. Wendell Mathis all the way down to the 20 yard line. Marcus Weeks finally had to catch up with them. Oh wow, 57 yards. Second false start of the game. Pinneger going into the end zone for the touchdown. Pinneger connects with Jermaine Jamison, and Fresno is getting closer. Yeah. Quick snap. And they give it to the big guy, Sunderland, and he is able to step over some bodies to pick up the first down. So Fresno State... Now seven for eight on the season and four downs. Play action. Going for the big play to Mark Wood. And he is in. Fresno has scored on a 22-yard pass play. I think it's the second TD, Pam. Mark Wood had one earlier, but they law you to sleep, Fresno does. They're in control. Of the, I'm sorry, it was their first touchdown reception by Mark Wood, but they law you to sleep at the running game. Pinnegar sees his free safety, comes off the free safety. No one covers him going vertically down the field. Well executed drive by the Bulldogs. One for one on fourth down today. Matt Rivera is in a very good receiving running back. He's kept in for protection. Pinnegar looking in the end zone, and the ball is caught for the touchdown. Jerron Fairman on fourth down, makes his first catch of the game, and it is huge. Time for Fresno. Pinnaker going for his tight end, and he's got him. Steven Spock scores, and the game is over. Spock, who came into the season with only four catches, has two today, including the game winner in overtime. deep shot and caught is it in bounds yes tremendous catch by marlon moore probably the hottest of the fresno receivers coming into the rhodes humanitarian bowl for georgia tech after josh desmond ran around a bit taylor bennett will be thrown down on third and long the first sack of the game goes to john manga 
goals this year, so he can do a lot for this football team. That's Moore in the backfield. They pitch it to him. Get a great block. Whoa, what a block by Smith. Wow. And that's a touchdown for the Bulldogs. His eyes. That's what Georgia Tech was did well last, last play. Well, that's how you counter the blitz right there with the speed of Smith. Still going. If he goes right, he's got a chance. Woo, a spectacular screen pass. Wow. All the way to the Georgia Tech 39-yard line. No flags. Burnett and Ward Daniels finally brought him down. Well, Clinton Smith wears a Batman shirt underneath his pads that he wore since high school, so they call him Batman. And I, I think you see why now. I mean, he's he running like a superhero. The end zone, touchdown. Now, here's the problem. Whenever you go empty backfield, the Spreadno State just did, it forces the defense to come out of any blitz that they may have been in. Now they have to come out of that blitz, and that's... That's something only Pat Hill can tell you why, you know, he understood exactly what Coach Tanuda wanted to do there. When he got off the field, guys. Big hole. Big chance for a touchdown. He'll go. No flags. Clifton Smith. Touchdown. Bulldogs. Well, we know why now. I mean, he's, why he's an MVP. He's truly a, a special, special player. Penalty flag will be for the jumping on the sign and jumping into the stands. I nice mean, just block. Just, just well blocked, you know, from, from everybody out there. And formerly of the Oakland Raiders has done a fantastic job of the developing and learning what Brandstater can do and what he can do and not ask him to do more than that. Look at Pasco leading the blocks. Touchdown! Well, you know... I was, I always said, but 39 catches, Bear Pasco only has 39 catches. How are these whack first team players, uh, you know, play, players uh, in the whack? First team uh, uh, tight end. Well, we know why. Good ball. Well, I guess they figured it out. I think Fresno State and Marcus Riley had figured that one out also. No doubt about that. They try a little misdirection with Smith, and he's going to make it up as he goes along. And look at the ad lib ability of Clifton Smith at the speed and a first down. It was second and 16. He got 16 and a little bit more. We'll see if Tech uses a timeout if this play doesn't get much. But it gets wow. much. Clifton Smith. Wow. Holy Boise, Batman. <laughs> 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 you bet. Uh, that can do all things. That means you're a complete football player. I'd rather be the latter. And the interception by Jake Jordy will wrap it up for Fresno State. Final two minutes of the first quarter. Fresno State trying to get something going. McMary has time. Now flush. Has a wide open receiver. And Jameer Jordan, the speedster, makes the catch and picks up their first first down in the game. Mims now flanking McMarion in the backfield. McMarion has time. Out to his tailback, but Mims who picks up the first down. Jordan Mims with the, with the uh, first down catch. And these coaches all week long talked about having to get outside because of the presence of Oliver and that defensive front for Houston, and they're doing it now with a lot of quick passes and utilizing their backs. Well, everything that's worked has been on the perimeter. Oh. Where number 10 is, you, know, like, you don't do it. Fourth and goal, and Fresno State's going to go for it, and they score. Yeah, know. They got it in. First and 15 now for the Bulldogs. Marion has a receiver, completes it to Keyshawn Johnson. Those two finally hook up, and it leads to a first down in the Houston territory. It's about Fake to Hokin, McMarion looking for his receiver. Has his tight end. He makes an outstanding catch. Jared Rice made a nice catch as the defender, Terrell Williams, was right there to tip it. Just barely couldn't get his fingers on it. That's 11 of his last 12. Again confidence getting into a rhythm watch the touch on this one he's got great protection knows exactly where he needs to put a good touch on For the timeout critical fourth down late in the going here in the first half King back to pass tries to connect with his tight end and almost does 
Nice defensive play that time by James Bailey from his linebacker spot, defending on the tight end. Underneath the Barry finds his tight end who has a nice little game. Jared Rice, who's had a big first half, takes it into Houston territory. I don't think in the, at the next level he's big enough to be a nose tackler. I think he's attacked, you know. A fake to Hope, get a McMurray, and keeps it. He's going to get the first down and a whole heck of a lot more. Carried it out to the 37-yard line. Big third down and five now for Fresno State. McMurray has time. Over the middle, completes. Keyshawn Johnson finally gets loose, and he carries it all the way into Houston territory, down to the 41. Fresno State to a 9-4 and four year after coming in and starting the fourth game of the year. Takes the handoff, rolls right, has room if he opts to keep it. He passes it to his tight end once again, first down inside the 15, and Jared Rice is having himself a career night. <laughs> Marion on the draw is going to keep it. Can he get to the end zone? He can. Touchdown, Fresno State. Effect, a lot of run pass options. Fresno State is. Done all they can tonight. McBerry goes up top, and he's got a receiver open. And what a great catch by Jordan. What a way to lay out. 37 yards. A little strong with the throw, or else he's still running. But just watch what a tremendous job you get from Jordan here. Team with a chance to get a win. And off to Hogan. Has a hole. Into Houston territory, lowers his shoulder, picks up an extra four, five, six yards before he goes down. Yeah, Micah St. Andrew, the right guard, pulled on that play and gave Hope at a huge hole inside. Hope in another opportunity, has some space, finds a hole, gets into the secondary, inside the 15, down to the 10. Hope is running with abandon right now. Well, he's getting some help up front. Talked about Michael St. Andrew, number 73, earlier, and a good job blocking down and then pulling around Muti and Kronk from the left side. Huge first down as Houston keeps his drive alive. Fake the Catalan. Ball tipped up in the air. It's up for grabs and it's intercepted. Gerald Bryan picks it off and he could take it to the house. And he does. Slips another tackler. Now he's got nothing but friends, and he's into the end zone. 71-yard pick six. Fresno State knew without Harry, this is an Arizona State team that wants to run the ball and throw short. The corner here, Kelly, is baiting Wilkins, sitting there almost anticipating the throw. He wasn't going downfield, didn't feel threatened downfield, so he just kind of settled at about seven yards, read Wilkins' eyes, and then as soon as he started to throw the ball, he jumped the route, made a goal. Marion has a little room up the middle, running to the end zone, touchdown Fresno State. And there's his family that fired up, excited <laughs> to see that. I love his toughness. Yep. Rivers, running room, Ronnie Rivers is rolling. Open field, can they catch him? Lucas giving chase, he doesn't get there. The Rivers takes it in for the touchdown. 68 yards. The guys up here to the line of scrimmage, but the key is this guy right here. He starts to cheat up, thinking that they're going to throw the football to the tight end. So they're in man free, but the safety, Croswell, actually went out towards the tight end rice thinking that they're going to throw another one of those quick throws and so once he broke that tackle there's nobody left linebackers walked up close up into the line of scrimmage safety moved himself out to the outside so once he broke that arm tackle when the linebacker wasn't the safety left everybody in man coverage and he's got the speed to be able to take it to the house 
Kirk he's got 149 yards today a lot of it coming on that 68 yard touchdown run. He's got it again Rivers hunting the end zone again and Rivers is into the end zone again touchdown Fresno State. Rivers scores the touchdown McMarion had the big conversion as we take a look and see if he got in before he went down. Yeah. Yes he did. Yeah, he's